Hey everyone, finally Quen has published another new model which is the Tongi Deep Research and here you see that it is completely free and open source and it is only 30 billion parameter model and this model is completely beating the other popular open source and also closed source model like here if you see that in this benchmarks this model the first one is this blue color Quen Tongi Deep Research and it is beating DeepSeek GLM and Kimi OpenAI O3 model and also this Cloud Force on it on this deep research. So this model is specifically for the deep research. Here you see that the the first fully open source web agent to achieve performance on pair with OpenAI's deep research with only 30 billion and activated 3 billion parameter model. Okay, and if I show you that what OpenAI charges. Here you see that if you just buy the plus subscription, then only you will get that uh, deep research capability. Here you see. So that uh, plus subscription also cost $20, right? But here this Tongi deep research is giving the same performance or you can say that the better performance than Claude and OpenAI with only 30 billion parameter model. And you can run this in your locally. Here you see that I have just downloaded it in LM Studio and I have tested this model. This is working fine for me and I am using this uh, 16 GB RAM laptop and here you see that this is the output. So I will share with you the experience but before that let me show you some of the information that they have written. So if you go to their Hugging Face repository here you see that uh, Developed by Tongi Lab, the model is specifically designed for long horizon deep information seeking uh, task. And this Tongi Deep Research demonstrates the state of the art performance across a range of agentic search benchmark, including humanity's last exam. And this is the toughest exam. And this browser comp, browser comp JH, Web Worker, and Xbench Deep Research. So if you see it, this is the main image that they have shared the benchmark comparison and also they have shared this kind of another benchmark this is the Tongi deep research at the last and this is their benchmark performance and you see that uh, here this Gemini deep research OpenAI deep research and Kimi researcher all of these models are there and on this deep research performance you see that this Tongi is performing better than the others, right? And here also, this Tongi is performing better than the others. So uh, let's see that how to use it. Uh, so first of all, download this LM Studio from the uh, internet. This is the local AI on your computer. And after that, uh, here from the left hand side, you will find this uh, search icon so go there and search this tongi and here you will find this tongi deep research 30 billion activated 3 billion parameter and just download it that you see that i have already downloaded it and here you will find it and you can test it that whether your machine is supporting this model for download or not and after that here let me open this in the chat section okay so where is that chat Yes, this is the chat option. Here you just uh, write hi and here you see this is the output. I just asked it that uh, analyze GPT-5 architecture and I have got this kind of output at the detail analysis. And one thing you have to remember that it has the cutoff of June 2024. And if you just uh, download or you can use it and provide the uh, latest web, web search tool, and uh, then you can get the latest information from the web and that is completely a development purpose so that's why they have released this model uh, as a free and open source means you can use this model and then you can attach the web search tool and then you can get the advantage of this Tongi deep research plus web search capability together but otherwise here you see that it has the cutoff of june 2024 as I am asking it that analyze GPT-5 architecture. So that's why they are saying that as of June 2024, OpenAI has not officially released or detailed GPT-5 because GPT-5 released two months ago in 2025, right? And otherwise here you see that the detail analysis and comparison to predecessor, all of that things. 
so here you see that the detail analysis you will get okay and in this way you can use this model for free in this lm studio and otherwise uh, if you want to use this lm studio in other uh, local interface there also you can integrate it because in client also you can do that in uh, uh, rucode also you can do that there this lm studio option is there okay and also here you see that they have given some of the examples if you go to their website this tonky deep research github.io i have given this link also in description they are say have they have shared some of the examples like that how it actually works so here you see that daily life uh, complex reasoning and long multi-step reasoning so what was the input so there they have shared some of the input let me show you i am thinking about selling my home so i want to learn more about how homes in my area sold recently so one person is uh, interested to sell his home and they want to know that uh, what is the trend in his local area so after that here you see that this is the detail analysis on the right hand side it has generated so how it actually works that the sales price in 2022 and comparison of sales prices okay and after that in various areas it has found that okay so this is the analysis i hope that uh, this model will be helpful for you guys and uh, what i will suggest you go this uh, this hugging face repository and there you will find some of the key features like fully automated synthetic data generation pipeline we design a highly scalable data synthesis pipeline which is fully automatic and empowered agentic pretending and supervised fine tuning and reinforcement learning large scale continual pretending on agentic data high quality agentic introduction data to extend model capabilities and maintain freshness and strengthen reasoning performance so here you see that agent inference paradigm compatibility at inference tongue deep research is compatible with two inference paradigms one is a react for rigorously evaluating the model's core intrinsic capabilities and another one is this iter uh, research based heavy mode which uses a test time scaling strategy to unlock the model's maximum performance ceiling this is the important things and also they have implemented this end to end reinforcement learning and um, these are the things okay so i hope that this detailed explanation with the uh, input output uh, that i have already shown you that how to use it it will be helpful for you and if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye